Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I did this look, feel free to continue watching. I literally was going to do a neutral look and I don't know what happened but this is what I ended up with and to top it off I've done three different um, lipstick shades as well so you can have a look at that I'm going to put them in I don't know how I'm going to do it if I can work out how to do some technologies and put them together and see which one you look prefer feel free to let me know if it's A, B or C or one, two or three in the, dis uh, in the comments which one you prefer in terms of the, the lipsticks I'll put them all together somehow um, but how is everybody how is everyone doing kind of after I want to say after Corona but I don't feel that's how it is I don't feel we're after Corona I just feel that we're being told it's going in that direction but I don't know I have my doubts um, so I'll just advise you to just still be careful um, I'm more or less more or less still self isolating kind of like I'm going out here and there but not to any parties or not like that you know so um just wanted to let you guys know that i'm going to be starting a skincare series i've literally well it's a skincare series where i'm going to be reviewing all black owned skincare products um i've got a few um that have already arrived i've just got to set out when and how i'm going to be doing it how i'm going to be doing the reviews either i'm going to mix it up with different products or i'm going to do one product Sorry, one brand per video and things of that nature so I'm just working all of that out but that should be out within the next two or three weeks and it's well, not two or three weeks one or two weeks I should say like I said they're all black owned products or brown owned products should I say but the racial term is black owned so oh, that's what I'm really saying you know what I mean but um, yeah so that's good um, also I've still got my online sessions. If you're um, if you're interested, feel free to let me know. We can get it popping. You'll know what I'm saying. And what else? Um, what else? What else? And I'm, yeah, that's about it, guys. My, my battery's literally gonna die any minute. I'm gonna try and take some pictures. It's like three o'clock in the morning, and yeah. So let me go. I hope you guys are alright. I hope I haven't left anything out. Let me just. Sorry, all. The battery was about to die, so I just called it a, a day, basically. So anyway, let's get into it. I first started off with my Ember Lee's Hydra Matte um, Moisturiser. Then I mattified my brows with any loose powder. Then I initially used my unbranded burgundy brow, brow pencil. Then I went over it with um, a brown not over it i used it i, I used the, for the tail i i used the brown uh, uh brow pencil and yeah i'm just covering up my brows as per usual you guys have seen how me all my basically all my videos have me doing my brows so you can see how i do them i'm using a spoolie at the front oh yeah and i've got some new brushes I'm really excited to use them and they're actually really good i'm going to put the link in the in the, down below it's from amazon um, it's very very cheap. It's less than ten pounds. It's really good, and it was I think twenty seven brushes or something like that. So I'm just covering up my brows with my Jesus Place concealer. I use this concealer a lot, you know. I've got so many concealers, and I've just been on this one. I guess, but well, I like it. So all right, it's all right. So yeah, as per usual, I'm just carving out my brows and then I used the foundation that I was going to be using to carve out the top, the tail, and the end of my brow the tail and the beginning of my brow to give it more of a gradient effect and then i forgot to put my um p louise um p louise eyeshadow base on while i was doing my brow so it was a bit more of a struggle to put it in place and set it in place and stuff i did it anyway but it was a bit more of a struggle than usual but it was fine anyway i had to do it a few times because i didn't leave it to get as tacky as i usually do but it was all right it was all right so then i first started off with i think that's the nubian 2 palette from um uh, Juvia's Place Every, as per usual all the details will be in the description box you know I usually forget I'm not going to lie I use quite a lot this was the Warrior palette I used the light brown in that as a, a transitional set shade I didn't really need it to show I just wanted it to blend out the orange a little bit even though I could have blown the orange out and it would have been alright then I went in with a clean brush just to smoke it all out and blow it out basically blow out the colour 
then I use the yellow in the 35B Morphe palette and I went um, I wanted a bit more gradient basically you know that's my favorite word so I did, you wanted a bit more gradients you know what I mean so I went in with that then I went in with the pink that's in the berries palette from Juvia's place as well just to give my um, crease more definition so I'm just pressing everything in place or dabbing everything in place then I went in with the darker purple in that same palette just to intensify the my outer V a bit more all in preparation for the main color that I was going to be using I ended up using three main colors mate oh, let me not lie to you but yeah so yeah here I'm just blending it out I could see that it wasn't blending as good as I wanted it to so I really had to take my time to blend it out and how I learned to blend it out was to be dabbing the color on it as opposed to swiping and moving it side to side so that's what you're going to be seeing me doing just dabbing it dabbing it dabbing it dabbing it dabbing it and dabbing it you know what I mean guys and you can see the subscribe and the share subscribe and share that's all you gotta do just subscribe and share that is it that is it subscribe and share comment hit the notifications bell so that you know whenever i'm I've uploaded a new video and bob's your uncle just basically i had to go in and out of both all the colors i was using just to you know see i went back in with the the initial orange and then i'm going to go back in with the yellow and thing like that you know what i mean so that's what i'm just doing here just ensuring that you can see all the colors as much as i wanted it to be shown kind of like thing yeah so yeah gosh i didn't edit it that well did i so anyway here i'm just smoothing everything out i'm deepening my v and then again i'm smoothing everything out again um yeah and then now i just went in with the clean brush just to blend everything together all the colors together make sure it's not too i saw that it wasn't blending very well there so i really took my time to really blend it out then i used my if that's actually a shimmer palette a highlighter palette from um makeup revolution as one of the main colors then i went in with this loose a loose pigment from AOA I'll put everything in the description box as I said so I went in with that um, and I just dabbed that in place as well and then I went in with a mixture of the two berry two colors in the two shimmery colors in the berries palette to deepen the V a little bit more and so that's just me just dabbing everything in place as you can see um yeah that is it that is it so i'm just blending everything in place as much as possible ensuring that you can't see where one color starts and one color finishes then i wanted to make it even a little bit more darker so i went in with the purple again in that color in that palette but with a bit of the black from the i think that's a saharan one palette that has the black juvia's place saharan one palette and then for this side, I did the same thing, but sometimes I'm going with my fingers. I found it a lot more easier just to blend everything, all the uh, colours together with my fingers. Even though you can see me using pen, a pen, a brush there, or brushes there, should I say. I did actually use my finger on this side a lot more because it was just a lot more easier just to position it in place. And so much so that I even went in with it on my, the side that I'd already done because I felt like... It could give it more intensity so that's what i done but i was chopping and changing basically i was going in with the pen sometimes why am i keep on saying pen man i was going in with the brush sometimes and i was going in with the um my fingers sometimes you know so yeah so then i use my amuse eyeliner i actually bought it or oh, ordered it from america because one of my favorite um makeup artist face caption llc i'll put his description i'll put his details in the description box he uses it and he he loves it so i thought let me you let me order it you know what i mean so basically instead of doing a wing liner i wanted to do more of a i didn't want a wing liner i just wanted that same black to be intensified just the liner to be intensified at the at the, at the view of my eye v at the outer of the outer v of my eye if i'm making sense so what I will do is I'll do the liner and then I'll, once I get to the, the darker colours in my, um, on my eyelid, 
I will blend it into it so that you can't see where it kind of starts if that makes sense so that took a while but it was worth it because it came out exactly how I wanted it so yeah I was just gradually making it as thick as I wanted it I mean I could have got it thicker I could have gone less thicker it's, it is whatever but um, yeah there's some women that go really really thick with their liner when they're doing it in this in this style but I didn't and then I used my Rimmel Miraculous Eye Pencil just to highlight my um, lower um, lower eyes I can't remember what it's called you know what I mean though anyway then again I went in with my Juvia's Place Concealer my waterline that is it I, I went in with the Miraculous Eyes on my waterline so I'm just blush um blending my concealer out you already know the technique I use I always start with my concealer now then I go in with my foundation so yeah that's what I'm doing just blending everything in place then oh yeah <laughs> I don't know why I did this because you can't really see it on 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 here too tough but I decided I wanted to then go in with like a shimmery liner and so I used a, a dark burgundy glitter. I initially used my lash glue and then I just put it in place and then I would press the glitter into it. I mean, it was nice, don't get me wrong, but it weren't that necessary. The, the look was good without it or with it. It didn't, you know, it was all right, it was all right, it was all right, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, no, I, I, I like the way this look came out, I must say. But anyway, as I was saying, so yeah, while I was doing my foundation, I all kind of concealer, I was thinking, yeah, I'm going to put some glitter. So that's what I did. And then I went back to putting my foundation on. I used my Maybelline um, Poreless, Matte and Poreless in 362. That's my colour. I could go a bit darker, but that's that. Or I could go light. Well, yeah, I could go a little bit dark, like one darker. But it is what it is. It's fine. Um... So yeah, so I'm just blending all of that in place. I blend, you know, I put it over my concealer as well. Do you know what I mean? So it all just blends in place, really. So that's what I'm doing now. Just blending everything in place. As you do, just blending, 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 blending. Just dabbing everything in place. Yeah, I do like these brushes I got, you know. I really do. I really, 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 really do. It's soft, it's soft. None of the hairs come out. Then I went in with my CC, um, correct, um, my CC, uh, my Makeup Pro CC powder in gold, warm golden, golden to set my concealer in place. And you guys see what I did there? You see what I need to do? I didn't put no loose powder on whatsoever. No Laura Mercier whatsoever. I just went straight in with my setting um, powder and I learned that from my darling beautician chic I went to do her she went she done my makeup for me and she's changed her technique and I thought let me try it and yeah it, it, I don't need no loose powder at all not at all you know what I mean so then I went in with the darker shade um, I think that was dark I used and then I bought the revolution pro glow bronzer so I thought let me try that to bronze my face but let me be honest I used the dark on one side and I think it was the med no that's medium dark yeah and it comes out like a contour you know because it's it's the, the it's quite cool in in tone it came out more like my contour a contour and this side which is dark came out more as a bronzer bronzer so I'll see what I'm gonna do how I'm gonna use them but they're all right though I mean they did the job um but yeah I just wanted to test both out and see which one is which and that's if I was going anywhere like, even if I was going anywhere no one would see that I've used different you know bronzers or contours or whatever so it is what it is but yeah that's what I did and then um after that oh yeah so obviously I set up my nose with one side with be being the medium dark and the other side with um the dark i think you can see because on the the medium dark is a bit more redder in tone so it's a lot more like a bronze and then i then went in with my rich dark because i felt like i needed to just set everywhere in place in terms of my contour and so i just set everything in place again all over my face really more or less just to blend everything out 
down my neck as well and then as per usual I used the same colors that I used on my lids well more the transitional colors like the the pink and the orange so first I used the dark purple then I used the pink and then I used the orange that I had used on my lids to smoke out my lower lash line just to give it a more smoky, sexy, sultry look, if you know what I mean. Or for my bed. <laughs> but it is what it is. So yeah, so that's what I did. Smoked everything out. So that's what I'm doing. Just smoking and smoking and smoking it. I did a bit more pink and yeah that's what i'm doing man. my editing is long today isn't it but that is it that is it then i went in i always have a clear it's always good to, to have a then i use the saharan bella so not saharan juvia's place bella palette then i use the highlighter that i'd already used for my um lip my lids as the what it was used for what it's for which is highlighting but I was going to say it's always ha good to have like a clean brush with you when you're doing your eyes so that you can smoke out the eyes a bit more as per usual you guys have seen me doing this a lot I was just highlighting my nose and tingling but yeah it's always good to have a clean brow a clean yeah I'm just going over my brows you know that's what I do now so that's what I'm saying I'm, I'm trying to finish the sentence I don't know why I can't finish it but yeah it's always good to have a clean brush when you're doing your eyes so that you can smoke it out without um adding any more color to your look if that makes sense and you can clean it up or do whatever you want so that's why i always have a clean brush that i then go over my my um my uh, lids with then i oh gosh did i use something else yeah i felt i needed to be a bit more contoured so i then went in again with the rich brush right guys so here we go i use four different lip colors let me not lie so this was the first one I cannot remember what it's called, but I then went over it with an unbranded a burgundy lip liner. I love this lip liner because it's more or less a, a dupe of, I think it's Night Moth. Um, so that was my first look. I used like a one pound lip gloss over it. That was my first look, guys. That's lip A. And yeah, what do you think? Let me know. And then I went in with an unbranded brown lip liner. Um, I just went over, I went, I lined my lips with them. I cleaned, you can see a little bit of the thing, but it's fine. Of uh, my past lip gloss, but it's fine lipstick. Then I went and used my Burberry contour, a lip contour. Then I went in with the shades in the, um, the shimmer palette that I'd been using, guys. You can use whatever you want. When it comes to makeup, there's no rules. Or whatever product is used for lips can be used for eyes, can be used for whatever. You know what I mean? So I then used that. As I had used it for my lids, I wanted to, you know, match it up. You know what I'm saying? I'm just cleaning it up a little bit. So that was my second look, guys. That was lip B. Let me know what you think in the um, comments box. If, hey, comments box, you know. Comment, comment box if you like this one. Then I remembered I ain't put no, no mascara on. Nothing at all. So then I went over my, my lashes... Um, with my Kat Von D mascara and then I use my uh, Maybelline lip stay in I think that's Rebel or yeah Rebel so I went in with that and that was it was meant to be the third lip I was going to do and then I thought you know what let me just do some pictures with this let me you know let me let me do it like this so I thought okay yeah this looks good so this was lip C that I did let me know what you think in the description box guys and then finally, I then went over that with my lip, sorry, my lash glue, and then some loose glitter from eBay, and I stuck that in. Plus, I don't really always, I don't really use glue, but I did today. And that was it, guy. That was the last look. That was lip A. Sorry, lip A. <laughs> lip D, guys. Let me know what you think. So here they are again, lip A. I like this one, actually, I must say. Pictures came out nice. Lip B. And lip C and lip D, guys. So let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe, stay blessed, and see you soon, guys. Bye.